on the shoulder. Okay. So first, you have to go to Massachusetts in America, which is here. Okay. Then I went to this place, and then I saw this river. Okay. So and then I, then and what's the number nine two one? Um. Yeah. It's near. It's near. Um. It's near the number. Route ninety one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, route ninety one. That's here. Okay. And after. Then you have to zoom out a bit and go to this river. Oh, then you have to go to New York, Northfield. Then look, you'll see it. Satan's Kingdom. Satan's Kingdom. Well, that's one of them. Where's the other one? The other one is um, Southern here. Wow. Yeah. So that is America, right? Yeah, in America. Oh. In this video, you learn about a new animal that eats humans. The Mimic. The Mimic is a bipedal creature with uncanny similarities to humanoid anatomy. A mature Mimic's diet is comprised entirely of human flesh. Pause. What was that? They closely resemble their trimming relatives, but are thin, sleek, and oh. only have four appendages. In this stage, the young Mimic will hunt small animals. Once fully transformed, it will resemble the description mentioned in the beginning. Its hunting style changes and becomes much more complicated. Look at how tall that thing is! It now stalks and feeds only on humans. To blend in, it may use objects to conceal itself. These include clothing, mannequins, and furniture. Once the prey is within position, the mimic will advance silently until it is close enough. The mimic will then execute and immediately begin consumption. Once the mimic has had its fill, it will leave the scene, a fair distance away from the human population, and begin to digest its meal. Dragons are real, dinosaurs aren't what you think they are, and I'm going to explain everything in three minutes. First off, dinosaurs aren't dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are just really big lizards, the same ones that live today. But the oxygen content back then made everything a lot bigger. Because it's reduced, everything's gotten smaller. So for instance, the chameleon might actually be the triceratops. It may seem kind of crazy, but look at all the reptiles, amphibians, and different types of fish. Now multiply them by 20, and you're going to notice that a lot of them look like dinosaurs. Next, paleontologists won't usually talk about this, but they're still finding soft tissue, muscle, and intact blood in these discoveries. If they were millions of years old, this would be impossible. Dinosaurs lived at the same times as human beings, but like I said, they're not dinosaurs. They're not a completely different species that was wiped out by a meteor. That's ridiculous. Next, a lot of these creatures you see in museums where they put all these bones together and said this is a particular species, it's absolute BS. It's all fabricated. Any paleontologist worth their degree will tell you that these are estimations. They have no idea what these creatures looked like. Which leads me to my next point which answers your question. Have you ever heard of Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent? Or the ten other names of the feathered flying serpent across the world that was very real intelligent could communicate with people and new architecture mathematics etc did you know a bunch of the translations of all of our old gods like the Anunnaki Elohim and Yahweh himself actually meant serpent flying serpent shiny one scaly one why is it that a serpent comes to the garden and speaks to Eve yes dragons are real yes reptilians are real there was an intelligent reptile species on this planet that could fly they also had spaceships, but they could also fly. The whole dinosaur thing is a cover-up for the actual species that exist on this planet and existed on this planet before. They are the native species that became intelligent way before human beings did. In fact, they may have had a large hand in making us. I recommend that you start doing some digging regarding all the things I talked about in this video. You'll get your mind blown, and yes, you'll believe in dragons. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen a fairy in person. But I do know there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing you can think of that doesn't already exist. So what that means is, 
when you're hearing about giants, goblins, dragons, angels, demons, and fairies, it means it's real, brother. This fairy was found in 1975. Put it on display. Fairies are real. I don't think people are understanding. The eyes are useless when the mind is blind. And what that means is, if you're trapped in your mind in a box and you believe what the mainstream tells you, there's no surprise you don't believe what we have to say. But just in case you're sitting on the fence, brother, they even x-rayed it. Oh my diddy. Oh my days. Somebody want to tell me who was using these big ass books? Because if you see the woman and her size in this big ass book, it don't add up, dog. No, it don't. Look at, look at, look at this guy in this big ass book. A giant had to be reading this book. Had to be. Scholars reading this big ass book. I bet they know who had these big ass books. But we know who had these big ass books too. That looking like a big ass door. Because that's a big ass door. That looking like a big ass door. Because that's a big ass door. Damn. That's a big ass tomb. Only a giant gonna fit in that bitch. That look alike a normal sized human and a big ass giant. That's what it look alike. That look alike normal sized human beings and another big ass giant. This one look kind of weird. This normal sized human being getting fed or getting a drink from a big ass giant. Now, that was Egyptian hieroglyphics, but there are more pyramids in America than it is anywhere in the world. There are also hieroglyphics in the Grand Canyon, which I'll be doing another video on soon. But come on, man. All this shit looking like a lot of giants was here, dawg. But think what you want, though. Whenever God is mentioned at the Grammys or God is mentioned at the, the Oscars or football games, basketball games, or when... when, when get a hundred million dollar con contract I want to just thank God because without God and my mom and my family I mean it's kind of it they don't talk about God no other time publicly other than a big moment happening and yet people are worshiping the devil publicly all year long the whole music video had devil worshiping in it y'all see this y'all see what's going on so at the end of the day man I just had to really Realize, like, wow, man, Denzel Washington does not do an interview on a red carpet, on a sit-down interview. He does not do any interviews without at some point transitioning and they're talking about the goodness of God. There is a theory that there is a species of underwater sea humanoid creatures and it's not as crazy as it sounds. Sailors, Vikings, medieval civilizations, and civilizations and continents that had no communication with each other all had documented encounters of half-human, half-sea-like creatures. Even Christopher Columbus in 1493 claimed to have seen three mermaids near the Dominican Republic. And although it's commonly believed that he just saw manatees, who knows for sure, it's not like he took a picture. Fast forward into modern times, most UFOs are sighted or videoed over large bodies of water or the ocean. And there's even been reports of these crafts moving underwater at speeds that we are not technologically advanced enough to reach. What if there is a species of underwater sea humanoid creatures, and just like we've advanced with the times, they've also advanced and have underwater crafts, cities, and possibly even civilizations that we don't know about. I'm not even trying today. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny or trying to find anything. It just keeps on coming. It just, it's a gift that keeps on giving, right? So watch this video from the coronation, from King Charles' coronation today. And explain to me, what have these people seen? What did they see? Here's, look at the faces. Everybody's going, at, like everyone, look at the whole crowd, go through the crowd and look at the faces. 
What did they see? What what are they seeing? Like, did a 20-foot reptilian lizard walk in there? What are they looking at? What is all this? <gasps> all of them. What do you think they're looking at? What did they just see? You can't tell me they just saw the crown and started acting like that. Or the court. No. There is surprise and some people are almost frightened and they're all looking. What did they see? What did they see? So now they have completely stopped me from commenting on my own post. I haven't said anything derogatory. So we're going to get straight into it. Y'all see here we have a Russian soldiers here. And this guy's now being pulled into the water by a water spirit, what we call AKA the Merman. I'm going to give you full disclosure on what the hell is going on. Uh, the other guy seen it, he was scared to death. Once he seen he was being pulled in and he seen the other mermans around, he didn't want to become a victim. Now this merman is a water spirit, so it can also shapeshift just like a reptilian. They have the same exact DNA. <clears throat> and a lot of people don't know this, but I'm gonna go bust it down for you because <laughs> so many people came across this video and don't even know what they are looking at. So you had a guy thrown back in there, boom. Body's thrown back in, then here you go, spirit walks out. See that? Look at him. See, once he tried to grab for the help his battle buddy, hell no, got to go. Dude rolled right on out because there wasn't anything he can do for him at this point. See how his body's thrown in that and his spirit walks out of there? <clears throat> that's, the, that's the spirit of devouring. You have a lot of these water spirits in national parks and all through rural areas where you can find water, ponds, lakes, rivers, oceans. This, is, I've been, this has been going on for a long time. And I can tell you right now, their voices, they sound beautiful, man. They lure you right in. Old st school stories of settlers. My granddaddy did 37, I mean 36 years. My other granddaddy, rest of their souls, uh, 32 years in the Navy, both of them. 30, 36 years and 32 years. And they told me a lot of stories about these things too. But <clears throat> on another note, like I said, man, we're going to bust it down. You see them right there? Boom. It grabs for him, nothing he can do to save him from the water spirit. He hauls ass, gets right out of there. Nothing he can do for him. It's sad, man. And uh, we're going to wind here. Boom. He's calling for backup. Where did he go? Uh, uh, body being thrown in. Boom. It is the police call everybody will be talking about. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Brian Loftus. A family says something crashed into their backyard, prompting them to call 911, saying they saw creatures walking around. Our 8 News Now investigators digging into this for weeks now. And tonight, our David Sharns with the video you will only see on 8 News Now. David? Brian, Denise, sources telling 8 News Now investigators that several agencies believe something landed or crashed. Whether it was non humans or not, it certainly scared the people living on this property. Now, before we show you that video, listen to their call for help. There's like an eight-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So there's, two, we terrify it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes, okay. like like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes, and and they're not human. They're hundred percent. They're not human. Okay. Well, the 8 News Now investigators obtaining video as officers then responded to the call you just heard. You'll see the officers also saw something in the sky that night, but the big question is, what was it, and is it all connected? It's almost midnight on May 1st when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this, something flashing low in the sky. 911 emergency. Minutes later. There's, a, there's like an eight-foot person beside it. And another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Someone calls 911, reporting two large figures in their backyard. Uh, no, I'm so nervous right now. The 8 News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he's sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. 
Everyone thought a shooting star, then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. By now, it's more than an hour after that bright light. Officers meeting up with the caller and his family. What'd you see? It was like a... It was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long tessy top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky, too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you yeah, see anything you land see. in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Police walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro blacked out that part of the video because it's considered private property. What's clear? They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question. But did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yes. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. That investigation turning up no concrete answers as of Wednesday. Whatever or whoever fell into that yard, long gone within minutes. Oh, hey. If those, if, those, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is quite weird, Brian was saying during as we're watching this story. Now, we've been in, been in contact with the family in that video, and as you heard in that 911 call, they seem very reasonable mm -hmm. and honestly quite scared as you heard them in the call. No, um, it, they don't seem impaired in any way. And whatever crashed by the time the police got there was gone. But sources say that there's really no dispute. Something was in their yard exactly what? We do not know. I mean, it's so interesting. So, like, the metro officers see something. The neighbors see something. I mean, so what could it be? Well, we know that there are obviously a lot of military bases around this area. Uh, George Knapp covers a lot of that stuff for us on the 80s Now Investigators. We're showing you drone video from above that area. And we know, of course, Creech not far away, Nellis Air Force Base not far. I checked in with them. They say they are not involved at all, and we are waiting to hear from the Pentagon as well. Hmm. And you talk to these people, it seemed completely legitimate to you, and, and do you have any personal thoughts on maybe what it was? Right, so it seems from talking to our sources that something happened. There was obviously some flash in the sky. A lot of people saw it that night on uh, the night of April 30th, early in the morning on May 1st. Did that exact thing land in their yard? I don't know, but these people said they saw some SUV circling the area. Could this, have, could this have been some piece of equipment that malfunctioned? Maybe they saw something and then someone came, I can't believe we're talking about this, <laughs> right. someone came and Picked retrieved it, it from the backyard <laughs> right. in the SUV, we don't know. This all comes as uh, a former high-level intelligence officer, an air a veteran, was on News Nation talking about how there is a program where the government collects some unidentified objects. So this might be that. We just don't know. We're going to work to find and, out, though. And Brian no Dave. substances. They were looking no with clear substances. eyes. Goodness. Very interesting. Not report. big buggy eyes, though. This, like <laughs> this is really unique. Thank you, David.